Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for the astronomy demo. We have Mr. Abhinav here with us from Astro Wonder Education. He'll be taking you through the entire course curriculum and a quick demo regarding how the classes will be conducted in the special interest clubs. In case you have any questions, you can post them in the chat box and so we'll take up all your questions. I'll now pass it on to you, Abhinav. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for Thank you, Riyama. Okay, uh, I'm going to share you my presentation so that we can quickly start with the session. Okay, so I believe uh, all of you can see me, right? So a very good evening, everyone. My name is Abhinav and I am your astronomy educator today and from, the, uh, from Astro Wanderer Education. And uh, today we are going to uh, take a quick, you know, trip through the world of astronomy and space science because I believe every one of you is now going to be our young space scientist. So we bring to you a very interesting and you know amazing space program which is called the Young Space Scientist Senior the, the Beginners Level course, right? We have various levels of this course. So starting with the first course, it's called the Beginners Level course, right? So uh, before I go ahead, uh, first of all, I wanted to know from you all that uh, why we actually, you know, study about space, right? Uh, I would just want you to answer in the uh, chat box, right? So that if, if you can please answer in the chat box, right? So let's, uh, let's discuss this, right? Why should we study about space, right? So before I tell you why we should actually study about space, I want to show you a video, right? It's a very interesting video. I hope every one of you can see this video. So this was an amazing video. I believe every one of us like this. So let us quickly discuss what would should be the future of space science, right? So India is going to send its own, you know, uh, its own humans to space, like its own astronauts, right? So uh, this mission is called Gaganyaan, right? And uh, 
uh, by i believe 2022 we will be on this mission and you know some of the indians would actually travel on an indian vessel to the space and i want you know some of our student to actually you know be a future astronaut right space tourism is a booming industry a lot of companies like even spacex or virgin galactic are coming up with a in interesting programs right these programs will you know will uh, you know take tourists to space so it's going to be a booming industry you can be a part of this industry might be you can be an entrepreneur who can start such a company right so uh, there have been no astronauts who have been to mars right there is an immense opportunity that you can be the first person to step on mars right aliens right very interesting thing whenever we hear about aliens we're like we are amazed oh are there aliens do we actually know whether do we uh, do they actually exist but uh, again i would like to tell that in aliens are inevitable though we have not captured a single sign of it right yes all the videos that you see on you know uh, internet uh, about uh, uh, alien stories and all are hoaxes right so they are not true we have not got a single sign of aliens as of yet but yes aliens are inevitable because you know uh, we have our own solar system and if, if we consider just our galaxy we have somewhere around 200 to 300 million similar stars and out of which some of them would have planets some of would have planets with possibility of life and some of them would have planets with the possibility of an intelligent life right it's a huge huge universe and it's very difficult for us to communicate with and you know explore each and every place but yes we need to learn about space so you can explore more and more and more and more in future so who the person who studies about life in space right so there's a, a very in, interesting you know profession called astrobiologist people who you know uh, are very good in biology and astronomy both so they search for life on other planets may might be a, even a microbial life as well not uh, not surely an intelligent life right careers in space you can become an astronomer right astronomer is a person who can who stays on earth and studies about space you can be an astrophotographer this is one of my favorite right just imagine you know wandering to remote places on earth and capturing the darkest of the skies and then you get paid for it right it's an amazing profession right space engineers you know these all rockets and rovers and satellites which are sent to space who makes them space engineers right so you can become an a space engineer you can become a space scientist right uh, someone who you know no a theor uh, you know gives the theory on which space missions are planned right an astronaut i can you know can you recognize these these are very famous astronauts okay i want you to answer in the comment section they have gone to space with the recent mission from spacex and now they are also back to earth right so these are very famous two very famous astronauts let me see who can answer in in the comment section right so spacex launch of astronauts i have a small video for you all so that you can see how these astronauts were actually launched in space an amazing video right so i will just forward it a bit so that so you can see
So you can see Bob Benken and Dog Harley inside the Crew Dragon. Okay. I will I will surely send you the video link, Daksh. I will send you later. So let's. Okay, so uh, just quick, uh, quickly, I'm going to tell you, you know, what are the sessions that we all are going to do? So these are some of the session out of, uh, you know, we have many sessions that we are going to do uh, throughout the year, right? We are going to have a, a session every week, right? And uh, some of those sessions I want to discuss with you all. Quox to Quasar. In this particular session, we are actually, you know, going to learn about the you know the scale of the universe right from the minutest thing to the biggest thing in the universe right quarks are the smallest thing out of which the you know electrons and protons are made and quasars are the largest known things in the universe so we are going to study about them space then we have a session sessions on space rocks where we are going to do interesting activities as well we are going to learn about meteors meteoroids meteor showers and things like that then we are going to have a session called Space Rocks where we are going to learn about comets and asteroids. Just imagine comets. Comets are such, such a beautiful object to see. Recently, there was a comet in the sky and we all saw it and it was so amazing, so beautiful, right? We are going to have a session on, you know, uh, on uh, Martian missions, right? You all know that Mars is, a uh, you know, Mars is a place where the most number of space missions have been sent till date, right? We have sent so many missions to Mars. Why? Because it is the strongest candidate where the life, possibility of life can be there. Might be there was life on Mars in past, might be in future there can be life, we do not know, but it is the, you know, the most possible, uh, you know, uh, you know, most possible planet uh, where the life is can be made possible, right? So let's come to Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is an interesting session, right? Sherlock, you all know Sherlock Holmes. He, uh, you know, uh, he was an agent, detective, right? Similarly, a lot of uh, you know missions are sent to Mars to actually detect the you know the uh, the uh, atmosphere of Mars and the soil of Mars and things about Mars that it can be you know, suitable for life or not. Sherlock to Mars actually, you know, uh, you know, discovers the same thing in this session by the NASA's Perseverance rover. NASA uh, uh, recently launched a rover which is called Perseverance, okay, with the NASA's Mars 2020 mission. And interestingly, this rover also has got a helicopter, right? The first helicopter that has been sent to any other planet so this would be going to be, this is going to be a test run of a helicopter that is going to be sent to a different planet. The uh, Perseverance uh, rover's arm, you know, robotic arm, has a device called Sherlock, and that's why we have named this session as Sherlock to Mars, right? Also, Perseverance is going to be our detective to Mars. Right. Then we have a session called Science of Rockets. Uh, we all love rockets, right? I love rockets. You all love rockets, right? And everyone who dreams about space loves rockets a lot, right? So in this session, we are going to learn about the rocket science. We will make this rocket science simple for you all, right? And we are going to make a rocket, okay? Uh, Daksh asked me a question, how can a helicopter fly on Mars if there is no air? Daksh, there is air on Mars, right? It's not that there is no air on Mars, right? There is air on Mars. It just has a very shallow, uh, you know, atmosphere, not a very dense atmosphere, like, uh, you know, uh, not a very dense atmosphere like our Earth, right? So helicopter can, uh, the helicopter that has been sent is very light and its blades spin very, very fast to, to make it, you know, fly in. 
um, the atmosphere of Mars. But again, Mars is uh, you know a different planet altogether, and this is the first time we are sending a helicopter. So it's just a test. It might work. It might not work. If it works, so we can you know future in future we can send many uh, you know missions to uh, Mars. But uh, if it doesn't, so we can think of of sending a better helicopter next time, right? So again. So I told you about rockets. Then again, lock, rocket launch systems. We are going to understand how rockets are launched and how your rocket that you made can be launched, right? Nebula to black hole. This is my favorite session. You know why? Because in this session, you learn the real astrophysics, right? In this session, you are going to learn, right? How a star is born, right? How does it live this life and how does it die? And the most bizarre object in the entire universe that is the black hole. Everyone wants to know about the black hole. So you are going to, you know, know about the black hole, uh, you you in this particular session and how the black hole is formed. You are also going to learn how different you know things out of which every other uh, you know uh, object in this world is made. Uh, you know, like our phone is made up of calcium. There is iron in our blood. Right? How do we get these these atoms? Right? Or the wood that you have it has got a carbon atoms. Now, how did they get it? Right? We are going to discuss it. Right? Um, so a lot of questions are popping up in uh, the chat section. But again, I want to tell you all that this uh, this is a webinar, and I cannot take all the questions right now. But yes, when we are in the you know real time session, and you know you are with one of our educators and he will answer each and every one of your question, right? Okay. So, uh, science of rockets, rocket launch system, nebula to black hole, amazing telescopes, right? You can see a telescopes uh, behind me, right? So, uh, in this particular uh, telescope, right, there are a lot of different types of telescope. You have a small telescope, then big, 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 a bigger telescope, then we have placed a telescope in space. So we are going to learn about each and every types of telescope, starting from a small telescope, like a tabletop telescope, to this Hubble Space Telescope, which is already in space, to the James Webb Space Telescope, which is going to be sent to the, to the space, right? So it's a very interesting session. Night Sky and Gadgets is another very interesting session. You know, you have the mobile phone that we all use, right? Or the laptops that you all use have a lot of apps and, you know, a lot of uh, websites where, you know, you can use it for planning your observations, right? So, like, you can use a software, a lot of softwares are there, but some of the softwares we are going to learn how to, you know, uh, you know, uh, how to uh, know what objects you're going to see in the sky, what planets are you going to see, see in the sky, what are the constellations that you're going to see in the sky. So these are some of the objects that you're going to see in the sky. Now, all in all these sessions, we are going to do some activities, right? Well, like in Sherlock to Mars, we are going to make a model of a rover. In Science of Rockets, we are going to make our own rocket. So, uh, in you know nebula to black hole we are going to understand about the so uh, every session has some hands on activities right and like in night sky and gadgets you will be using a real time software and you know uh, you you working on it to you know hunt down the constellations and some objects in space so these are very 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 interesting sessions okay uh, so uh, i have one of my students who have already completed our program Okay, so uh, I have a small video from her. Uh, so just look at this video and uh, you would realize how interesting our sessions are. So here we go, okay. Uh, the audio you cannot hear the audio let me share the computer computer audio share computer sound okay am i sure a liar studying in class 7 kvi teacher and show all the classes were very interesting and informative i used to like the you know activities we used to do uh, during the classes at the end 
as well as the puzzles and quiz. Today I am here to give you some facts and information about the Ingenuity helicopter. It is the first powered flight in another planet. Ingenuity, also known as the Mars helicopter, is a robotical helicopter that is planned to be used to test technology to scout to, to scout interesting targets in Mars and help land the best driving routes for the future Mars rovers. This small drone helicopter is planned for deployment in 2021 from the Perseverance rover as a part of the Mars 2020 mission. It is expected to fly to five expected to fly up to five times during its 30-day test campaign. Each flight is planned to take no more than three minutes at an altitude of three to ten meters, three to ten meters above the surface of the ground. So here I have a model of the um, the Ingenuity helicopter here. You can see some violet things, which are the antennas, which uh, which they gives the information to the rover. To the rover, the rover passes on it on to the Mars orbiter, and the Mars orbiter then gives it to Earth. These solar panels here give you know collect the heat from uh, Earth and give solar energy, which charges up the battery. These, these are the blades which are the main part of the helicopter. The, they spin at a very high speed which causes pressure and speed which helps the uh, uh, helicopter lift off. Uh, and uh, now here is the body uh, uh, which is like a brain to it. Um, it helps in navigation and it, ha it, ha it consists of many things. Here, here in the end here, over here, is the uh, you know it has two like, you know small openings where one camera and the sensor comes. The camera is like the eye to a helicopter and it takes images through the camera and the sensors are which help the ground controllers know like in what speed does the um, helicopter blades roll or in what like like one kilo like one kilometer per hour or something like that a lot like that. And the batteries which are charged by the solar panels are used in liftoff. Actually, there were two, you know, four legs which helps it to stand on the mass surface. But I was unfortunately unable to do it. Um, and that's all. The, the, our this is the main facts and interesting things with an ingenuity helicopter. Thank you. So this was Ashwarya. So uh, everyone, uh, we this is all that we had. Uh, for today's session, but uh, I have a small quiz for you all, right? So I'm going to write that quiz, uh, the quiz link in the chat box so that, you know, you all can answer the quiz. Just give me a moment so that, uh, you know, I can give you the quiz link. Okay, I'm writing the quiz link in the chat box. Okay, everyone do not stop writing in the chat box. Otherwise, the quiz link will go above. Stop writing in the chat box. Now, everyone go and solve the quiz. Go and solve the quiz. I want everyone to solve the quiz. Quickly, it's a very easy quiz based on the general knowledge about space. Come on. I'm sending the link again. Come on. In the nickname section. Wait a minute. Okay, now, can you see the link now? Everyone quickly solve the, stop writing in the chat box, stop writing in the chat box. Uh, write your name, okay? In the nickname section, write your name and Start the ring.
so i believe everyone has started doing the quiz okay okay i'm 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 i am just uh, sending you the another link for students for whom you know the quiz link has expired all right so i believe it takes 100 kids at a time so just a minute Just give me a moment. Yes, yes, I am. I am doing it. Everyone, come on! You can join it now again. I am sending you. Those who are not able to join, please join now. I am. I have sent you a fresh link. Saint Ritu, very good. Those who have completed, very good. Do not do uh, okay. Do not do it again and again. Right. So, very good. Very good. So let me see the previous one first. very good everyone so yes i can see a lot of students will be you know at the uh, you know at top positions uh, thank you everyone so i will just the initial quiz which have got 100 members okay now there is a poll everyone you can you know answer the poll for me in the first set of questions right i believe all the top six students or uh, five students answered all the questions correctly right so very good arya ayush rishab jalan kartik singla and siona vaid they answered all the questions correctly okay and please answer the poll okay and uh, let me quickly so everyone that was it for today i hope everyone has performed very good in the quiz you all uh, have a lot of knowledge about space i hope to see you all and all uh, in you know in our uh, space sciences club and uh, you all would surely love to be a part of it we will we are going to have a lot of fun thank you everyone thanks a lot and see you all soon great so thanks a lot everyone okay everything uh, other information about the uh, sessions will be told to you uh, you know through the hosts right like how to join when to join what is the fees how many sessions and every other thing will be told to you we we are going to just answer your astronomy questions right so you come up with cool questions related to space and we are going to answer it so thank you everyone thanks a lot so i believe i will uh, pass it on to riya ma'am and shalesh sir riya ma'am are you here hi everyone all questions related to the club will be given to you by your school education counselors so you can reach out to them the circulars have been already circulated in case you have any other queries you can reach out to the counselor so thank you everyone Thank you Abhinav thank you so much thank you everyone thank you ma'am thank you
थैंक्स लॉट